एम के स्टैलेंस डी एम के इमर्ज एज द लार्जेस्ट पार्टी इन तमिलनाडु अर्बन लोकल बॉडी इलेक्शन एज इट पैक्ट हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर वार्ड इन चेन्नई विद ए आई ए डी एम के विनिंग Congress is in the third position with a win in seven votes. Tamil Nadu CM MK Stalin thanked the people of the state for supporting his party saying that this is a certificate for the 9 months of good governance. The party was the front runner in Madurai with Lord Erode and Karur. Days after Bollywood actor Sonu Sood's car was impounded and he was sent back from a polling booth during the Punjab elections an FIR has been filed against him the FIR has been filed against the actor after the police in Punjab received information that the actor was campaigning for his sister Malvika Sood on the election day Sonu Sood's sister Malvika Sood contested in the Punjab election on Congress's ticket and was one of the candidates for the Moga seat Karnataka Legislative Assembly Speaker Vishweshwara Hegde on Monday took a strong exception to the Congress members unnecessarily bringing the Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sangh or the RSS during their protest in the well of the house. I would like to remind the Congress that the RSS is a nationalist organization which is trying to organize Hindus and you should be supporting it. Can RSS be held at fault for any of the issues in the house said Hegde as the Congress leaders demanded the removal of state minister KS Ishwarappa for its controversial comment about replacing the national flag with a saffron one. The Indian government has banned app, website and the social media accounts of Punjab Politics TV. According to the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, the organization has links to the banned pro-Khalistani outfit Sikh for Justice or SFJ and was attempting to use online media to create public unrest during the Punjab elections. The ministry in its statement also said that the content produced by the foreign-based media outlet had the potential to incite communal disharmony and separatism. As the situation between Russia and Ukraine is escalating with each passing day, India in the United Nations said that the whole matter is of grave concern. While attending the emergency meeting called by the United Nations Security Council, India said that it should be the immediate priority to de-escalate Russia-Ukraine crisis. The United Nations Security Council called for an emergency meeting today after Russian President Vladimir Putin recognized the independence of two separate regions in eastern Ukraine.